everyone, Donut here. I'm not at my office. I'm actually visiting my family right now. Look, I'm at the lake. Look how pretty it is. I also didn't pack very well and uh, I'm gonna be using my vlog camera for this video. So hi everyone, I hope you're having very, very happy, good holidays. First off, I wanna give a shout out to Ryan Tillman. If you haven't seen his channel, he's a good dude, law enforcement guy, does shooting breakdowns too. He just started a series where he's taking civilians and running them through police scenarios using sim rounds and it's pretty badass. He's gonna be coming up to San Antonio here in the next couple months and he's gonna let me play one of the suspects and mess with some civilians. So like me, Brandon, all the boys, we're gonna get together and we're gonna be bad guys. Head over to Ryan Tillman's channel, check out that new series, it's pretty dope. Before we get started, guys, it is unsubscribing the shit out of people from my YouTube channel. YouTube is, they're just removing people. So hit the notification button and subscribe if you haven't already or if you need to again since they hate me. Today we're gonna break down, you guessed it. <laughs> just kidding, the suspect in this video miraculously doesn't die from the 30 plus shots that were thrown at him by the Houston Police Department. I'm kinda sad about this Houston police shooting though because there's not a surprise corgi out of nowhere coming to help the boys in blue. But first, a word from our sponsor. This shooting is sponsored by Americana Pipe Dream. Why, yes, in the last ad I did for those guys, I called it American Pipe Dream. Sometimes I do it dumb, but those goofy bastards over in Americana Pipe Dream are getting more and more really cool camo patterns and really cool <coughs> shit in every day at their warehouse. And if you go over to AmericanaPipeDream.com and use the code DONUT, you get 10% off your order. How rad is that? Check out what they got. Oh my God, they got a giveaway. Oh my God, they got the French CCE Woodland Fleece. What new stuff do they have? Oh yeah, they just got a shit ton of Yugoslav M59 helmets and they sent me some and I'm probably going to shoot them. I want to see what they stop. <gasps> oh, model 1970 Alpen Fludge. I want to know where my f***ing Fleck Tarn is. There we go. They got Fleck Tarn Woobies now? Like I said, head on over to AmericanaPipeDream.com. Use the code DONUT for 10% off. Fleck Tarn! Let's mag dump. Twice. So what had happened was two Houston police officers were riding together in a marked police car doing some good old fashioned patrolling when they spotted a suspicious vehicle in an area that they know that dope is being slung. They says to themselves, could that person possibly have drugs or a Draco style AK pistol in his car? Surely not, but let's follow him just in case. While following the vehicle, they saw it run multiple stop signs in a residential neighborhood. Now they have a good reason to stop them and say, hello, sir, mighty fine day we're having, how are you? But he didn't want to talk to the police at all, so he took off. Police pursued the guy for a little bit more before the dude's truck suddenly spun around in the middle of the road. Before the officers could put their patrol car in the park, the suspect started shooting at the police through his own windshield. According to reports, the suspect was using a Vishka AK style pistol. Oh God, a Vishka pistol, it's like a Draco. I was sitting with Brandon the other day watching this, and we both read that it was an AK style pistol that the guy was shooting at cops, and odd Automatically, we both knew it was a Draco or a Visca. Brandon said the officers probably didn't get hit in that initial volley from his AK style pistol because the fucking thing doesn't work. Piece of shit Visca. You know what I'm talking about. The one that gangbangers shoot like they're in Somalia fighting Delta boys and army rangers. It reminds me of that shooting I did a while back. 2018 to be precise. Jackson, Mississippi, the officer got into a fight with a suspect and the suspect's brother pulls out a Visca or Draco and tries to kill the cop but accidentally kills his brother who was fighting the cop. Then he got charged with capital murder for smoking his brother and attempted murder of a police officer. Holy <laughs> look how sunburned I was. Hi everyone, Donut here, and as you can see, I don't wear sunblock ever. Anyways, back to our shooting in Atlanta, Texas. As soon as the suspect starts putting rounds into the middle of the police officer's windshield, they both bail out and each of them throws a magazine into the area where the person shooting them is sitting. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
This officer's mag dump looks familiar. Enhance. 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 I know who that is. The exact shooting I was talking about at the first of this with surprise Corgi in it where the officer mag dumps the guy in the back. That's the same officer. It's Officer Reddy. Somehow this shooting though didn't take place that is the war zone that is a McDonald's parking lot. Might as well go ahead and play it if you didn't see that video. <laughs> Dang, Officer Reddy, I'd say you're racking up some pretty gnarly Conus kills, but none of the people you've mag dumped have died. Officer Reddy is racking up Conus injuries. From a tactics perspective, this was a kick ass shoot with only one noticeable pucker factor and one little noticeable WTF. And it's a little bitty. WTF, because I mean, it still worked. I'll show you. Right when they stop, the suspect starts putting rounds right into the center of the patrol car window. You can see that on the body camera. I went through quite a bit of training when it comes to being in your car during a shooting, and it was always taught that your car was called the tomb. This is because if you stay in your car during a shooting, you're probably going to die. And you see in the movies all the time where people are using cars as cover. Cars don't make good cover. The best place to be if you're going to shoot from behind a car is in the front, behind a tire, behind the engine block. And even then, there's a lot of rounds that can sell right through that engine block and hit you. The two officers in our video did an incredible job at drawing quickly, putting rounds into bad guy, and pushing to their target. These officers look like they have some really good training. Can you imagine some of the other officers we've reviewed having been in this same situation? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> now for my pucker factor of the video. Officer Reddy, you sneaky slut. I thought your partner was going to shoot your ass when you crossed by the suspect's driver window. That could have been bad crossfire, but it's completely understandable that you didn't see where your partner was at that moment, and everything did kind of happen in a split second happens and I'm glad they're both okay. The little WTF moment that I had, which isn't really that big of a deal because it <coughs> worked, was Officer Wade's reload. I'm not hating, I mean it, it worked, I've just never seen anyone reload like that. He like had his mag like this and was jamming it in. Don't, oh, don't photoshop that. That was a gnarly moment with them going from zero to 60 like that. The suspect on the other hand wasn't very okay. He wasn't dead, but he definitely wasn't feeling too good. This mother <coughs> regretted shooting at cops so much that he teleported to the back seat to avoid getting smoked. Officer Reddy and Officer Wade jerk his ass out of the car, cuff him, and like f***ing <coughs> heroes, they instantly started saving the guy's life who was just trying to kill them. And when I say he was trying to kill them, look at this picture of the police car that the Houston police released on their Twitter. Every shot to the center was from the suspect. Thank God he was a full force re <coughs> and only managed to kill a police car. Remember she Shooting through glass can be really dangerous, so only use it as a last resort. You get the glass blowback, so not only is that getting in your eyes and all over your body, you're breathing it in. So be careful. Try not to shoot through glass that much. In the end, our suspect was charged with two counts of attempted capital murder of a police officer, felony evading arrest in a motor vehicle, and felon in possession of a weapon. Not a nice dude at all, but they got him to the hospital in stable condition, filed the charges, and he might be in jail. I don't know or care. <laughs> Douchebag. Until next time, I don't know how many videos I'm going to make here while I'm with my family. I'm gonna be here for like the next week, but you know, I'll, I'll try to get some more shooty shoots up and some more lacrosse Wisconsin, the, you know, the cinematic universe of lacrosse Wisconsin. I'll try to get some of their stuff up here too. Code Blue Cam actually just came out with a t-shirt over at Bunker Branding where, where I sell all of my merch if you wanna help support the channel. They have a shirt that says the lacrosse Wisconsin cinematic universe now, it looks awesome. Support my channel by going to donutoperator.com. I'm on every platform pretty much. Subscribe to some of my other channels. I got like five, four or five YouTube channels now. We're all police channels where you can find this one without my stupid face talking and until next time everyone please have a fantastic day Backer.